The question, I'm good, thanks. Bookings are creeping up, albeit slightly. What is the experience going to be like this summer? Well, planes are filling up. Now, it's partly a mirage in terms of the total, total number of people traveling because, of course, airlines are playing the supply and demand game here, right? They've been cutting, cutting, cutting. And for a while, that wasn't enough. No matter how much they cut, the flights were still empty. Now, they're finally getting to a point where passenger demand is picking up a bit, all beyond off those very low lows, and where flights are beginning to fill to a point that some people are complaining about a lack of social distancing. Airplanes, of course, not designed for social distancing. Well, you're leading into my next question then is, is it safe to fly? What would you tell people? In terms of your personal safety, and that's really one of two things you have to think about, it's really like being in any other room full of people. Look, if you put on a mask and you're sitting the same distance on a plane from somebody as you're standing from them in a supermarket or, or anywhere else, a restaurant as those begin to reopen in some parts of the country, no real difference on the airplane. What is different is you're going to visit somebody else and whatever you might be carrying, you know, even if you feel like you're a, of an age and your overall health that you're willing to take the risk for yourself, you're also taking that risk for other people. So you have to think about that. I, I know personally, my family, uh, you know, I would get on board a plane. I would take my wife and our young daughter on board a plane. But are we willing to go visit older relatives in our case? Maybe not until there's a vaccine or at least a reliable antibodies test to know what kind of risk we present to other people. That's what I'm thinking about personally, what I think everybody should think about. can hear people jumping off their chairs saying, wait a minute, how can he say that being in an airplane is the same as being in any other room? You're in an airplane in a, in a confined area with 150, if not more, people with some a, a foot and a half away from your head, your well, face. I well, Scott, I guess I mean in a, in a room of 150 other people that size. Uh, no, absolutely. Obviously, in, in a bigger space would be a different story. I just mean there's nothing special about airplane air, for example. That's kind of a myth. But no, no question. You are sitting, even if the middle seat is empty, you're not six feet away from that other person. You're 18 inches away from them. You know, there was a study a couple of years ago out of Emory University. So th this predates COVID. that found that people sitting in window seats on airplanes get sick a little less often than people sitting in other seats. And there, too, nothing magical about the window. It's just that you're not surrounded by as many other people. And guess what? People who don't get up as much during a flight also get sick less, right? Okay, so, yeah, yeah, I could bury, just, my head uh, in, I'll bury my head in the window from now on. Well, why not, <laughs> why not one industry standard for how this flying is actually going to work? JetBlue today said they're not going to have the, a, a middle seat or at least someone sitting in the middle seat, yet other airlines haven't come forward and, and said that. Is that a problem? Yeah, Delta has said at least through the end of July it's going to add flights to the point that it can keep middle seats empty. But you're right, most of them haven't said that. It's kind of like everything in this country, Scott. Uh, no national standards for when to close and when to reopen the economy. No national standards for airlines either. Canada uh, about a month ago said, hey, if you're walking through an airport, you get on an airplane, you need a mask, period. In this country, JetBlue, which you mentioned before, another thing they went first on was the masks. Most other airlines matched them, but Allegiant hasn't matched. It is encouraging people to wear masks, but it's handing out free sanitation kits, including masks, gloves, and wipes, which other airlines aren't doing. So it really is an airline-by-airline airline thing right now.